Hi, thanks for visiting us again. My name is Devin, a thermographer with T-Equipment, and today we're going to be discussing the differences between the FLIR C2 and FLIR 1 Pro. I've got them both right here. First off, FLIR 1, as you can see, it's just your phone add-on. That's a nice little device. It's actually the fourth iteration of FLIR 1 devices they've made, and they just keep getting better and better. And then we have the FLIR C3. FLIR C2, C3, they're pretty similar, except for a couple of features on the inside. We have a comparison video on that if you'd like to check it out later. So the C2 precedes the FLIR 1 Pro by quite a bit. And as a result, the technology of the sensor is a little bit older and leaves a little bit to be desired. It's gonna have an 80 by 60 pixel array and a max temperature of 302 Fahrenheit and a sensitivity of 100 millikelvins. The FLIR 1, on the other hand, has got a 160 by 120 pixel array and a max temperature of 752 degrees Fahrenheit. Sensitivity is lower at 150 millikelvins, but the pixel resolution really makes up for the difference. Both cameras are going to have FLIR's patented MSX technology, so you'll get the visual details overlaid with your thermograms. And really, they're used in most of the same applications. It's just going to be a matter of preference and, to a certain degree, what your environment looks like. For professional, I would recommend getting a C3 camera because it's been ruggedized. It's more of a professional tool. The FLIR 1 is more of a hobbyist or homeowner, perhaps, looking for uh, energy efficiencies in, in their own home or perhaps doing some plumbing. Uh, you don't want to be walking into a client's site with just a FLIR 1 in your pocket and say you're going to do a serious thermal inspection. Uh, first of all, it doesn't look good. And it's really just a consumer device. It's, it's not quite as sturdy or stable as a standalone unit like the C3. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of wobble there. S still takes a great image, but you don't want to be dropping your phone with your thermal imager and lose them both all at once. The FLIR 1 has a one-year warranty, whereas the C2 is backed by a much more robust warranty. It's going to be two years, and there's also uh, extended warranties available. Uh, it's, it's just a little more hardened. As far as the actual image quality goes, the FLIR 1 has the edge. 160 by 120 versus 80 by 60 means you're going to have four times as many pixels on target, which results in much sharper images all around. Uh, the user interface on the FLIR 1 is also going to be more modern and a little bit better than that of the C2. The C2, it's, it's, it's oriented like many of the other cameras that FLIR offers for professionals. They use the same interface for their C2, C3, E4, 5, 6, and 8, and even their much more professional grade cameras like the E75, 85, and 95. Uh, it's, it's designed for use in the field, not, not too many frills, and you move along through a fairly um, linear menu style. The FLIR 1 Pro, it's, you, you can see a lot more on screen and tweak a lot more options. It, it leverages the, the highly sensitive touch screen of your phone to do that. And it's, it feels more like an app than a, a tool. And that can be good in some cases and not so great in others. The FLIR 1 Pro is less expensive than the C3. The C3 is going to be $699, and the FLIR 1 Pro starts at $399. The C2, which doesn't have the wireless capabilities of the C3, is $499. So if 
Image quality is the only thing that matters. I'd recommend the FLIR 1 Pro. If you want something that's gonna last, that you can use day in and day out, you're gonna be better served by getting a C2 or C3. So that's the big difference between the FLIR 1 Pro and the C2 and C3 cameras. Thanks so much for watching our video. Again, my name's Devin. I'm a certified thermographer with T-Equipment. If you have any other questions regarding camera selection for your application, please give us a call. We'll be happy to assist you in any way we can.